hello. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Okay, we're going to go through the limb bones. We're going to start here with the humerus and um, at the um, cranial part of the humerus, you have the head, which is the ball that fits into the socket in the shoulder. Then you have uh, two tuberosities, the greater tuberosity and the lesser tuberosity. Then we go to the distal part of the humerus and you have this hole here called the supracondyloid foramen and it's called that because this is the condyloid or condyle and it's above the condyle so supracondyloid foramen the condyle is made of two articular surfaces um, this one it articulates with the trochlear notch of the ulna, so it is the trochlea. See, this is the ulna. And the other one articulates with the radius, and it is the capitulum. So, oops, trochlea and capitulum. Okay? The ulna, you know it's the ulna because the trochlear mo notch makes a U. Okay, you also have to know the alacranon, which is the elbow. And you have to know the coronoid process. And you have to know the styloid process, which is on the distal end. Okay, and then on the radius, you just have to know that this is the radius. You can tell because it has a collar around the proximal end. And then you have to know the, know the styloid process of the radius. Okay, now this is a femur, and uh, we're going to start again with the ball, which is called the head of the femur. And then the collar around the head is called the neck of the femur. And you have two very large uh, protuberances, the greater and lesser trochanter. And then you have a groove on the inside there called the trochanteric fossa. Okay, and then you go from proximal to distal, you can see there's this ridge here. It's called the linea aspera. And we go down to where it articulates with the kneecap, and that's the patellar trochlea. Okay, then we go on the ventral side, and you have uh, two condyles. Your medial condyle is going to be on the same side as your head, and the lateral condyle is going to be on the opposite side. And then in between them is the intercondyloid fossa. And that's the femur. Um, and then that articulates with the patella, which would be right here. And then your tibia. There's just a few structures you have to know on the tibia. You have to know the tibial tuberosity and the tibial crest. And then the medial malleolus, okay, which is going to be your inside ankle bone. Then you have the fibula. All you have to know on that is the lateral malleolus, which is the outside ankle bone. So medial malleolus and lateral malleolus. Okay, so these are the six bones of the limbs, and I'm just going to briefly go over how to tell them apart. Um, some ones that can be confusing are the humerus and the femur um, because they both have the big ball that fits into the socket. Uh, the femur, it juts out a little bit more. Um, it's also a little bit bigger, but that may be hard to tell when it's all by itself. Um, also, the humerus <coughs> has that hole, has the uh, supracondyloid foramen there, and the femur does not. 
Okay, uh, another couple that you might confuse are the fibula and the radius. The fibula is long and skinny, and the radius has a distinctive collar on the top. Okay, and then the last one, the ulna, is probably the easiest because it has the trochlear notch, which makes a U. Alright, that's all.